Hello, Mock here with a little video on how to create a hologram for your iPhone. Step one, purchase my iPhone app, Holograms, works on the iPod Touch as well. Step two, start it up. Okay, and then we'll create a new hologram by hitting the plus button. And you can give it a name, but for now I'll just hit done. And then you just tap that. There we go. And now you turn on the camera by clicking on the little camera icon. Like, oops. There we go. Camera icon. And if you have a camera, you can use the camera on your iPhone. Uh, if you don't, then you can just use an image from your photo library. And then the camera comes out. Let's see if we can find a, a good subject here. Da, 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 da. Oh, hey, Tracy! Hello. Okay, wait. Try turning sideways a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, now, now, uh, bend over a little bit and reach out. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And then, uh, it slowly converts that into the texture map when we hit use, like so. And now we have a little photograph. Okay, it's just a standard photo, 2D and so forth. There's no holographic effect yet. And we'll be adding that by this clicking on this little up icon here and then you just kind of draw in the areas that you want to appear in the foreground and then, you know this is going to be a little bit coarse because I'm doing this pretty quickly but you can kind of get a sense of what's going on there and now if I tilt back and forth it kind of shifts over a little bit Maybe tap the head a little bit like, like so okay it's very very subtle but you can do a couple things to kind of make this look a little bit more impressive first of all let's try erasing pretty much everything except for the, thing, the uh, subject that we're interested in. So, okay, I'm going to draw, draw the eraser around here, and erase down here. It's going to be a little hard to do <laughs> while holding a camera in one hand, but you get the basic idea. Okay, now I'm going to try to redraw some of the other part that's in here. Okay, so let's see, we'll get that. We'll get that. Well, you get the basic idea. Something kind of like that. Okay, now we've got a little bit of a, an image here. And let's see. There we go. Okay. Let me just clean that up a little bit on the edge here. Of course, if you have, have this on your own iPhone, you can kind of make a much cleaner version of this. There we go. Okay. And then uh, we go to the settings to apply different kinds of effects. For example, let's try... Uh, a laser effect, okay? And then we can also bring the height up. So by default, the foreground image, which is what we're working on now, is at the center. So it's basically on the same plane with a little bit of bump up and down based on where you draw. So we can actually bring it up a little bit, just slightly to the right. And then when we go back now, okay, it turns it into this laser thing. And it's also slightly above the, uh, the surface of the iPhone. You can kind of see a little bit there. Okay. Now, to really make it pop, what we'll do is go in and add a background. So, we'll go through here, background. And then, let's see. Click on the camera again. Oop. There we go. And now we're taking a picture for the background. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Because normally what I do is I take a picture of my hand. Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Okay, I'll just put it on the computer here. Okay, there we go. I'll take a picture of the computer as the background. Something like that. Okay. It converts it into an image. And we'll say use that image and slowly converts that into a texture. And then when it's done converting it into a texture, we should have, yes, a little image of Tracy on top of the uh, computer like that, like so. And now we can go in and kind of adjust a few things, like for example, let's bring that background forward a little bit. It doesn't need to be quite that far back, like so. And okay, there, that's a, that, yeah, that's a little bit more convincing. Okay, and then let's push the uh, background a little bit farther off in the back. Oops. Right, so we kind of draw, push down, make the brush, brush a little bit bigger going to do some broad strokes here. Okay, and then do it again and kind of go a little bit lower. And do it again and kind of go a little bit lower and so forth. And this is trying to add this effect to make it look like the computer is kind of receding into the background. And so as we go back and forth, 
we have, yes, the hologram sort of appearing on the computer. And we can kind of do other things too, like, uh, let's see, adjust where the foreground element is. So we can get that a little bit farther back again. Oops, not that far back. Something like that. Okay, like that. And now we've got, yeah, you can kind of see the uh, holographic image on top of the computer. And you can do other things too, like, okay, let's try bringing the forward, the, the top a little bit more forward, like so, so it looks like it's standing up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, and there you have it. A little tutorial on how to make a hologram using the Holograms app for the iPhone. Enjoy. Bye-bye.